Right, get your cakes out, your pair of fannies. Go. What you got today, Dan? Uh, Victoria sponge, mate. Oh, Classic. Oh, lovely. Oh, Dan, that's not bad at all. Especially after your Battenberg disaster. Cheers, Mark. Right, Perth, what's your offer today? Well, there she is, in all her glory. Lemon drizzle. What's this? Is that shop bought? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Look, I, I did try and bake one myself. I did, but I just can't do it. I can't bake. Listen. No baker gets it right the first time. Yeah. That is the beauty of baking. It's trial and error. Do you think Dan could have produced that exquisite Victoria sponge yeah. without fucking up his Battenberg? No, no way. I mean, even a great Mr. Kipling would admit to fucking up his first couple of bake wells, right? Yeah, I suppose he would. You need to get some more confidence, Coach. Yeah. yeah. Well, do you know what? I think I'll, be, I'll give it a bloody good go next time. I really will. and I, I can't thank you enough. You know. That's the right attitude. Mm. Yeah. But remember, you've got to do forfeit. Oh, yeah. Well, what do you mean? Well, you brought in a shop bought, so you've got to do a forfeit, mate. That's the rules. Uh, what forfeit? Uh, Slap that drink out of that woman's hand. Yeah, oh, go shit. on, Kirsty, no. that would deem you. No, that's, that's slugs. I know him. Yeah, but so what? Well, it's just, uh, he's had a really hard time. He's had cancer. Right. You know? Oh, mm. grow a pair, Kirst. Yeah. He ain't going to do it, mate. He's a fanny, isn't no, he? No, I ain't a fanny. I just... I... Oh, fuck. Hi, girl. All right, slugs, mate. All right, mate, how's it going? It's not good. Oh, really? What's wrong? It's really low, mate. Why? Just found out Kay's been sending messages to other guys on Facebook. Shit. What sort of messages? Sexual, mostly. Oh, God. Oh, so sorry to hear that, mate. Thanks. Uh, she said she doesn't know what she wants. Yeah. I'm going over there now to see if I can work things out. Mm. Well, it will, it will work itself out, mate. There's, it always, yeah. I hope so. She's really fucked in the head, mate. Yeah. Just, I don't know what to do. Yeah. Good. Oh, nice one, Curtin. Nice one, mate. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Well, Mandy very kindly offered to spend some time at my house for protection and that. She reckons it could be quite serious and it could be very dangerous. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah, the reason I've offered to protect Kerry is because I used to be in exactly the same situation before. Because I was a stalker for about three or four years. And uh, it's got really bad at one point because they were starring in Jack and the Beanstalk at the Everyman Theatre. I broke into their dressing room and just and I stole all their shoes and that. Police got involved. I thought you were stalked on. No, I was a stalker. Oh. Yeah, because the more I loved them, the more they rejected me. The more they rejected me, the more I wanted to kill them, see? That's just love, I suppose. <laughs>